how to install surface mount posts on angle runs. Identify the posts needed for the stairs and set them in place according to your project layout. Unless otherwise specified, the post should sit just behind the tread nosing. Your post mounting holes should always be over solid blocking and never over empty space. Please note, if you are using a BC or BR post on the stair run, the BC post is designed to mount towards the center of the tread, and the BR post is designed to mount towards the rear of the tread. To set your post correctly, you can use a speed square to equally set each post off the front of the tread and the edge of the tread. It may be helpful to use a pencil and mark a small line where the edges of the post mounting plate are sitting. When all of your posts are set in place, run a string along the top of the post to ensure that the angle is correct and that the tops of the posts are the same height. You will need slight tension on the string to provide a straight line. This is important to keep the handrail from bowing or bending when fastening your posts. Next, run a string through the bottom holes of each post to ensure that the infill will not hit the nosing of the treads. Hold the post steady during this step to avoid moving the post out of alignment. Adjust as needed, making sure that your post is over solid blocking and square. If necessary, mark a new line with a pencil along the edges of the post mounting plate. Finally, run a string along the sides of the post to make sure all the faces of the posts are in line with each other. The edges of the post should evenly touch the side of the string without pushing the string outwards. Once all aspects of the posts are in line, use a pen or pencil to mark through each of the post mounting holes. Although you will only occupy four of the holes with screws, it may be helpful to mark all eight mounting holes. Using a 3 16 inch drill bit, drill a pilot hole for at least four of the marked locations with at least one hole on each side of the post. Pilot holes must be three and a half inches when using four inch screws or two inches when using two and a half inch screws. If you are installing rod posts, make sure that your foam inserts are inserted into each post. Place all the posts into position over their pre-drilled holes. Using a T30 Torx bit, screw the post mounting screws down through the 5 16 inch stainless steel washers. A helpful tip is to tighten each side proportionally so the post is not torqued down too far one way and out of alignment. When your post is fastened down, attach the post level to the top of the post. While it will work on any height of the post, the top of the post will give you the most accuracy. If the post is out of level, loosen the screws and use the composite shims to help level the post. During this stage, remember that the post must be level both left and right as well as front and back. When your post is shimmed to the correct level, fasten down your screws. The screws will pull the post down and slightly compress the shim, so take your time on this step and recheck your level after each tightening sequence. If the shim does not break close to the post, use an oscillating tool to cut it near the post. Repeat these steps for each post on your run. When each post is fastened in place, double check again to make sure all your posts are level, square, and in line. Place foot covers on each post. If desired, use silicone where the foot cover contacts the post foot plate to help keep it from moving. That's all it takes to install surface mount posts on angle runs. For more information on installing our other products, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash viewrail or visit our website viewrail.com.